Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So this video is gonna be focused on showing you how to set up your iSportsman account and then to also get the proper documentation for being able to hunt whatever military facility you're planning on hunting this year. Let's get right into it. Before we get into it though, if you are one of these occupations that is in your face on your screen, shoot me an email and I'm going to help you save massively on anything outdoor rec related, camping, hunting, fishing. Yet again, if you're one of these occupations, shoot me an email. My email is in the description. Let's get to the real video. Short, sweet, to the point, let's get right into it. Okay, step one is to make sure you're even eligible to hunt on whatever military facility. This video will be focused on Camp Pendleton because that's the only one I know. So for the list in front of you, if you don't meet one of these criteria, then unfortunately you can't hunt. Yeah, there are some rare exceptions, but just know that they're pretty strict with it. Step two, you need to set up your iSportsman account. Okay, so setting up the iSportsman account is pretty straightforward. You're gonna go, you're gonna go to iSportsman at whatever uh, military compound you're planning on hunting. You're gonna fill out the registration form. Basic information to the point, um, no secrets here. Okay, step uh, three, you are going to go to whatever uh, X, like MCX, FX, AX, I don't know if FX is a channel, uh, MC, NEX, AX, RX, right, whatever. You're gonna go to that type of uh, store on the base and you're gonna ask uh, for the military hunting permit, okay? So for Camp Pendleton, it's the MCX on main side, you're gonna go to the Star Car facility, you're gonna tell the person behind the counter you'd like to hunt on uh, Camp Pendleton. They're gonna give you a form to fill out, which is making sure that you understand the rules and regulations, super straightforward. And then additionally, they're gonna give you a hunting pass, um, or uh, excuse me, your uh, vehicle pass, which are uh, base hunting permit. It's only $20 good for the entire uh, hunting season, okay? Don't lose those things. Do not lose those, super important. All right, once you get those two things, the additional two, doc two items that you need in order to hunt a Camp Pendleton as well are you need to send this email right in front of your face, you need to send them that hunting permit, the base hunting permit, your state hunting license, and whatever form of identification that you're using to validate you are thus from the list, from the previous list. So for myself, it'll be the front and back of my military ID. All right, quick recap on that. So you have your base hunting permit you need to send in, you have your state hunting license, and you have your form of ID to validate you are one of those criteria. Okay, so you're gonna email those three things to that email that is again in front of your face right now and I'll also put it in the description. Once you're done with that, so for Camp Pendleton specifically, for archers more specifically, you need to do an archery proficiency test. What this test consists of is a 30 yard shot at a bedded doe. You need to get two out of three arrows within the vital zone. They put this on pretty much every Saturday and Sunday, I believe, sometime, sometimes Friday evenings, and one of the game wardens will be there and they have the access to validate you through iSportsman to say you've completed that. Last thing is now that you have those four things, the last thing to finalize is you need to apply for your annual hunting permit inside of iSportsman. It is 100% free. You just go to permits, you find it, you click it, you check out. Make sure you check out too. A lot of people are forgetting to do that. And then after all those things are done, you should be good to go. So one other thing I need to mention is that you need to do your safety brief as well. Um, it'll pop up here, take quiz. This is all within iSportsman. And once you do that, you're fully validated to hunt camp penalty. Short, sweet, to the point. I hope this video makes sense. and I hope it makes it a little bit easier for those. And then the last thing I will say is that you, we need to do this every single year. All right, it's just not for the new hunter. You only need to set up your iSportsman account once, but you need to submit all this info every single hunting year. So just keep that in mind. All right, guys, that's it for this video. I hope uh, everything made sense and I hope you uh, learned a thing or two and I hope it made it a little bit easier for you to apply for, to uh, hunt whatever military installation. On that, guys, if you've already started hunting, I hope you have a great hunting season or hunting season is going well. And if hunting season is getting ready to start, I hope you have the best one ever. Talk to you soon.